Up next on Softball 360, the best of the best in college softball. Venus Taylor reports from the Women's College World Series in OKC. Meet Mikan's mountain of a man, Mr. Mario Foster. From slugging homers to, would you believe, guarding the President of the United States. Better get extra napkins for Team D. Marini. Defending champs Chris Larson and Bubba Brungart share their own version of a pre-game power lunch. Teams Easton, Combat D. Marini, and the winner of the Mike and Freak Tour are ready to take the roof off Minute Maid Park in Houston. Softball 360 starts right now. Excited to bring you the news, features, and the how-to. All right, it's time to get it on. Greetings softballers and welcome to the place for the sport of the summer, Softball 360 presented by the ASA. I'm Carly Applin and we're going to get this softball party started with a big event, the NCAA Women's World Series. And the best in college softball is ready to crown a national champion. And for that coverage, we're going to head to Oklahoma City where Venus and our crew are standing by. We are in Oklahoma City at the Women's College World Series where the best of the best college softball players will be competing on center stage to find out who will be the next national champion. It's softball time in Oklahoma! Oklahoma City is indeed hallowed ground for softball. The headquarters for the ASA and the Softball Hall of Fame are right next door. I come, my dad came, my grandpa started coming, so it's a family tradition, we love it. For the kids to be out here and, and living a dream that they've all had since they were little, it's just a, it's a special moment. For the best college teams, softball time means getting your team's name in the winner's brackets. It's just amazing to see all these fans here and all of the people who support the sport and to see how much the sport is really growing. At the Women's College World Series, plenty of school spirit. Being true to your school was never so much fun. Because it's an experience that everyone needs to have. It's the championships of all championships. It's exciting. Tigerific day. Here we go, Gator! The mighty Michigan Wolverines brought a new cheer to the table, would you believe, by making pizza? Uh, yeah, they, they do got a lot of dexterity with a lot of, uh, a lot of cheers, man. Different, uh, it's good though, a lot of support for our team and uh, you know, the more, the more we get into it, the more they get hyped and uh, hopefully they feed off of that. Ready to sprinkle the cheese, sprinkle the cheese. The fun and games at the World Series extend to the NCAA softball experience. Plenty to see and do before the first pitch. Now to get ready for the games, fans must properly prepare. Tailgating is strongly encouraged. Uh, we got barbecue chicken and down home sausage from Stonewall, Louisiana. The best the in the best whole wide the world. Whole world. There it is right there. We have the jalapeno sausage, and I remember this from last year, so you know it's good. The LSU fans start early. Heck, they pretty much invented the sport of tailgating in New Orleans and brought a little bit of the bayou to OKC. Right is this the winning touch? I think it is. I think it is. I'm stirring up some LSU style. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Louisiana paper. This is where it goes down. And what, what goes down underneath these tents and you know, in the back of the cab? We ain't in Oklahoma. Woo! 
We're going to hear from Venus and the College World Series a little later in the show. But now if you have a story idea or are at a game and want to give us a shout out, make sure to hit us up at softball360.com, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Back in a flash. More from Venus Taylor as she goes behind the scenes at the Women's College World Series in OKC. Mikan's Mario Foster is swinging for the fences. One way the defending champs prepare for the ASA Stadium Power Tour is with a carnivorous crusade fit for the Flintstones. They got me on there. Oh boy. Good Company Mesquite Barbecue in Houston sets the table. And the only question remaining, is this enough food? <laughs> Talk about a power lunch for Team D. Marini. Clearly, they have satisfied the appetite. Softball 360 is brought to you by ASA USA Softball, the national governing body of softball in the U.S. By Easton Sports, there is a difference. The difference is Easton. By Mike and Sports, elite equipment for the elite player. Mike and Sports. By D. Marini. Upgrade your game with the DeMarini Stadium CL22 and Flipper Aftermath. And by OfficialGear.com, the one-stop shop for umpires and officials. Let me ask you a question. Who inspires you? Jessica Moore. Michelle Smith inspires me. Greatness begins with a dream. Legends inspire dreams. Join the USA Softball Legacy Club and help us keep the dream alive. Welcome back to Softball 360 presented by the ASA. I'm Carly Applin and we're going to introduce you to a softball ambassador. To say Mario Foster is impressive just begins to tell his story. From slugging softballs to protecting the president, Mario's story will make you proud. Meet Mikan's big man, Mario Foster. For sure, Mario casts a huge shadow as a Mike in KO rep on the field. Oh yeah! I hit that one pretty good. Considering the first two didn't feel all that great, I, that, one, that one felt pretty good. But off the field, Mario stands even taller. His resume reads like a Tom Clancy novel. Retired Army officer, served many tours overseas, U.S. Air Marshal, and even some hush-hush classified mission. And what may be the toughest assignment on the planet, at times, Mario guards the President of the United States. Well, I've been about uh, 24 years on the federal side of law enforcement. Been somewhat of a transition throughout uh, my time, uh, working throughout the total life cycle of law enforcement, but I've enjoyed it, I love it, it's a passion, and uh, not many people can say that they've had the opportunity to do what I've done, and I love it. We caught up with Mario at an ASA tourney in Delaware where big hits are just part of the story. For the Fallen is, a, is an organization that represents our fallen law enforcement and military service members. Felt that kindred connection and, and they made me somewhat of an honorary For the Fallen member and we've stayed really close ever since. You know, with Mario's history in the military, uh, obviously many years of public service, it doesn't get any higher as far as respect, uh, his integrity, his is doing the right thing all the time. Cody, Nick, Dan, myself, Mario, Micah, Eric. Grant. Attorney this large with hundreds of players and teams requires teamwork. That's just what you can expect from Mario and his wife, Jennifer. Yeah, they're having a great time. Everybody's enjoying it. It's for a great cause. So everyone's just enjoying the weekend. Mario's love of the game is infectious and goes beyond the field. You see, for Mario, softball has a far deeper meaning. No one person can affect a positive result on their own as it relates to the ultimate outcome. Uh, it, re it takes everyone. Sure, he guards the leader of the Western world and stands for freedom, 
But at his core, Mario Foster is a simple man. Just a guy who loves softball and loves to be a Mike and man. Mike can make something for everyone, a balanced bat, an inloaded bat, slightly inloaded, two-piece, one-piece. I love the fact that Mike is made in the USA. It's, it's the staple of what they say. It's something I believe in uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, and the quality of the product is, to, in my opinion, second to none. For more on Mario Foster and the Mike and Freak Tour, head to our website at softball360.com. Stick around, more Softball 360 just ahead. More from Venus Taylor and her Women's College World Series Tour de Force. Also, do you know what college team has won the most NCAA National Championships in softball? The answer, just ahead. Dateline Houston and the home of the Astros. Teams Easton, Combat, DeMarini, and the winner of round one of the Mike and Freak Tour are ready and standing by for the ASA Stadium Power Tour to begin. The WCWS, the Women's College World Series, is like the final four of hoops for softball. The prestigious NCAA Women's College World Series was recently held and there was plenty of world-class softball action on display. But our feature reporter Venus Taylor goes beyond the great plays. We are at the Women's College World Series where the center stage for softball has gotten so big that they've had to expand the Hall of Fame Stadium. Let's go in and take a look. These are the hollowed fields of the ASA Hall of Fame complex in Oklahoma City, known as the place where the champions play. Whether it's slow pitch, fast pitch, men's or women's, we have 10 and under championships, we have the national championship for college, and then also for international. I mean, we have really the entire growth of a softball athlete can take place at this place. OEG Field is widely regarded as the finest softball facility in the world. It has played host to the best softball competitions on the planet. As the facility continues to grow and evolve, the world is watching from many angles. For a stage this big, the players need the proper space to prepare. Venus and Softball 360 got an inside look at the new locker rooms. It's exciting. This is the one area that so much happens, how all these players have worked all their life and sacrificed so much time just to be in this moment, in this locker room, out on this field. It's pretty awesome. It's just exciting to be standing, standing in here. At the new concession stand at the World Series in Oklahoma, we think Turkey Lake, but I think they're thinking a little bit bigger here in Oklahoma. They go big, go big or go home, and I'm thinking this is more like a dinosaur leg. Let's start with a fave of many, the food. Now the old OKC favorites, funnel cakes and shucking Bill's corn are still setting the table. We did about 600 yesterday. For the fans out there that have never been here, put it on your bucket list. This is a place that uh, the excitement here, whether it's a one to nothing game or it's an 11 to 10 game, these student athletes are putting it on the line. Uh, you know, unfortunately in this game, somebody had to go home. Uh, some careers came to an end uh, and you could tell when it was over who was happy and who was sad. Uh, but those young ladies put it all out there for us and, and it was a very entertaining game. <laughs> Thanks, Venus. Now, earlier on Softball 360, we asked you which team has the most national championships. If you guessed UCLA, then ding, 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 you are the winner. They have 11 titles. Arizona is sitting at eight. Stay tuned. More Softball 360 just ahead. When we return, teams combat Easton, DeMarini, and Mike and Freak Tour winner Brian Bohannon are ready to put the squeeze on the juice box at the home of the Astros. Softball 360 is brought to you by ASA USA Softball, the national governing body of softball in the U.S. By Combat Sports, not all bats are created equal. By Evil Sports, the best softball on the planet is evil. Evilsports.com. By BPAthletics.com. For the best service and price, BPAthletics.com. By softballcenter.com, the site for major softball news. And by officialgear.com, the one-stop shop for umpires and officials. 
Welcome back to Softball 360. It's stadium power tour time as the world's greatest softball home run hitters gather for round two of the ASA Stadium Power Tour in Houston, Texas at the home of the Astros, Minute Maid Park. Get ready downtown Houston and all the way to Galveston Bay. Each slugger gets 15 swings. Each homer's worth one point, except the last one. It's the almighty money ball, and it's worth two points and could break a tie. Ryan Bohannon is living the dream. He earned a chance to hit when he purchased the Mike and Freak package and won the local Houston qualifier the night before. The young Texas slugger is making the most of his chances and does not seem to have any rookie jitters. Bryant B.B. Bohannon is swinging like an old pro. Are we watching the future of the power tour? Ryan slugged out nine points with his Mike and Freak bat. Absolute blast. Definitely well worth it. If you would like a chance to hit on the Power Tour, log on to bpathletics.com. Up next, the defending ASA champ, Chris the Crusher Larson for DeMarini. This is what a champ looks like, folks. Kaboom! Right out of the gates. The Crusher is on a roll, one after another. With his super fast, compact swing, he takes the evil softball downtown, uptown, downtown, and off the wall. That shot inspired by the Atlas Rocket and Johnson Space Center. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the beauty of the long ball. And on the money ball, Larson makes it rain, and 12 points is the high mark today. Up next, Johnny McCraw from Team Combat. The former champ on the stadium power tour played for the Astros back in the day, and his Houston homecoming gets off to a solid start. A line shot to the Landry section and a home delivery of an evil softball. When Craw is on, it's a moonshot. Check out Craw Daddy's veteran swing. No hitch in his giddy up. But Houston, we have a problem as he comes up a tad short on his shift. Scott Kirby steps up, swinging with his very own Easton bat. Kerbs led the entire season last year and he picks up right where he left off, putting his new bat to work. When he's hot, he's hot. But today, Kerbs is not chilling out with just six points. Team D. Marini's Bubba Brungart is one of the youngest sluggers on the stadium power tour. The mighty righty also showcases one of the hardest swings on the planet. Bubba blasts that gopher ball out just like a Houston rocket. But young Bubba has had better days at the office. But we can't resist. How about one more look at his savage swing? The last man standing is Brian the ball will be flying Wegman. The Easton vet starts off with a bang. Weggs is trending long ball and is working on quite a run. Six for six, seven for seven, eight for eight. When will it end? Not anytime soon. He wallops that evil softball deep into the concrete canyons of downtown Houston. With textbook form and his Easton bat, Weggs is big news on the big screen. 
suddenly he slammed 13 homers in a row, many completely out of Minute Maid Park. Now there has never been a perfect 15 for 15 performance on the stadium power tour, and not to jinx it, but on pitch 14, ugh, darn it, and the streak has ended. But Weggs finished strong, slugged out the money ball, ending up with 15 points. What a performance by Brian Wegman. Almost perfect. He is a legend. I was a uh, nervous wreck. That's as nervous as I've ever been uh, doing the competition. I think I've been doing it six years. Uh, my front leg is still shaking. So, yeah, a little nerve wracking. Here are the final standings from an action-packed round two of the ASA Stadium Power Tour. And here are the upcoming dates on the ASA Stadium Power Tour. Check out some ticket pricing specials for Softball 360 viewers. Log on to softball360.com for details. Talk about putting the squeeze on the juice box. Minute Maid Park will never be the same. And we are off and running for the Stadium Power Tour Finals in Miami on September 12th. Keep in mind, only five bombers will earn a spot to compete. That's all the time we have for you. Make sure to send us your story ideas at softball360.com and hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm Carly Applin, and as I like to say, get out to the park and play. Next week on Softball 360, Team USA tunes up for the upcoming season. We'll meet the ladies who proudly represent the red, white, and blue. And Venus Taylor has the latest inductions at the ASA Softball Hall of Fame.